Okay. I'm not a virgin anymore. It's not really a cause for celebration. This is going to get kind of explicit. So if you get a little grossed out, I recommend stopping the video. I'm not going to go super. I'm going to keep it, you know, YouTube guideline, whatever. Or, um, but <sighs> yeah, she just left. She's a sweet, she's a sweet girl. She's cute. She's, she's overweight. Or actually, maybe slightly obese. I don't know. I'm, I don't hate. I don't discriminate. She's still pretty hot. And, uh, you know, she she got naked. And we did things. And... It was time for me to... To go. To... to, to what's the word? It's time for me to... You know, and my heart the entire time was beating really hard, like <laughs> the entire time my mouth was dry. Now, this, I asked her, I was like, I even told her, listen, I'm a virgin. And she's like, really? You've never done it with anyone? I'm like, no. I've been, I've been with a woman before, but I haven't, I don't, I didn't tell her that. Um, and I asked her, do you think I'm still a virgin? And she said, no, you're not. So I'm not a virgin anymore, apparently. So I'm going to give my thoughts and experiences real quick. You know, I knew, I always knew losing, losing the virginity is, wasn't a big deal. It's not a big deal. And the weird thing is, right, I still couldn't get it up. You know, I was kissing her body, touching her, you know, all these things. And I couldn't get it up. Like, I loved it. I loved everything. I loved touching her. I loved just feeling her body and everything. I loved it. Everything. You know, the foreplay, whatever. But I couldn't, well... It got halfway up, but the, I think the problem is I didn't feel anything because she she had a lot of flesh. Oh, I'm not talking shit about her. Again, I think she's hot, but it was you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna talk super into detail about it because I don't want to gross you guys out. But I didn't. I didn't finish. Now, I learned from my past mistake. I, last time I was with a girl, I couldn't get it up either. But I tried to make her... I tried to pleasure her. I didn't finish. I don't think I pleasured her. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. We we didn't communicate as well. But this girl, I, I, I made sure to pleasure her. I made sure she, she was satisfied. And I asked her too, I was like, did you come? And she said, yes. <laughs> I, as a man, actually, I don't even know who I am anymore. I always thought I was ready. I always thought, I always thought, um, I would be able to perform because I thought it was, I thought I had a high sex libido, you know. I've always always I'm having sexual fantasies and all these things. I don't know if it's because I just did a, I just finished a seventy-seven mile ride and a hundred kilometer ride. Um, and cycling kind of kills the testosterone, and I was just tired, and and uh, almost got a heat stroke. Anyways. I don't really know who I am anymore. I, like, I don't know. She said, she said, you know, because I'm a virgin, I just need more time or something. But now I look at women, 
I'm not gonna go gay. <laughs> but when I look at women now, I just, I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent. I mean, sexually, you know, of course I respect people and stuff like, you know, women, all these things. But the thing is, I don't know who I am anymore. It's not a big deal, you know, life moves on. But like, I don't know, like any future girl who I like or whatever, I don't know if I'll be able to get it up. I'll have to, I'll have to keep trying. I'll update on my channel, you know, what happens. But anyways, I just wanted to share about impotence. I don't know if it, it probably is impotence. I was just scared. Um, she's like, you know, you're tired. That's why what happened. I was tired. <laughs> anyways, that's it. It's not a cause. For, it's not really a cause for celebration. I mean, it was hot for sure. Um, I'm grateful that, you know, she, she came over. Um, that's it.